In a world on the brink of collapse, where the forces of evil threaten to consume all, one vehicle would become the linchpin of victory. This is the story of the Night Stalker, a machine born of desperation, ingenuity, and a dash of the unknown. As the tide of World War II turned against the Allies, an unlikely coalition was formed. Churchill, Roosevelt, and four mysterious warlocks joined forces to create a weapon unlike any other. At the heart of this beast was a powerful engine, courtesy of Chrysler Motors. But it was the armament that would make the Night Stalker truly feared. Two 105mm rocket launchers, each capable of firing three belt-fed rockets. The Nazis, led by the power-hungry Adolf Hitler, sought the ultimate prize, the Ark of the Covenant. With its rumored abilities, nothing could stop the Third Reich. The Night Stalker was the Allies' answer to this existential threat. The stage was set for an epic confrontation. In a forgotten town on the outskirts of Berlin, the Night Stalker would clash with the Nazi war machine. King Tigers, Jag Tigers, and the monstrous E-100 siege tank stood ready to retake Europe for the Fuhrer. On that fateful day, the Night Stalker roared into battle. Its rockets tore through armor, sending the Nazi behemoths up into flames. The tide had turned, and with it, the course of history. Though the Night Stalker remains a secret to this day, its legend lives on, a testament to the power of ingenuity, determination, and perhaps a touch of the mystical. In a world gone mad, sometimes it takes a little magic to make a difference. This is the story of the Night Stalker, the tank that saved the world. Welcome everyone. We are playing the most ridiculous looking World War II tank in, in the game. Not just in the game, in the world. When this tank fought on the fields of Prokhorovka and in the streets of Berlin. It was a sight to behold. It really was. Um, I remember uh, when, my, when my cousin brought me out in 1944 to take a look at the tank. Uh, no, I'm just being ridiculous. This is just a ridiculous tank, and it's stupid. And it shouldn't be in the World War II mode. It shoots rockets for Pete's sake. So, I want you to look in the top left, where it says uh, garage right beneath that. Uh, World War II. Is, that's it. It says World War II. This is the World War II mode. You're shooting rockets. It's a little strange. Uh, but we're going to be pulling this out today, doing a review on it. Thank you, X Machine, for sending it over for us to give it a whirl. We are going to take a look at what it can do. Uh, let's see. We want to pause... There we go. Pause the, the page scroll. What do I have set up on it? Okay, so I have optics, camera net, vents. That's what I went with. And we're just going to get that out of the way. And let's go to the commander, and then we'll talk about the stats, okay? Uh, born leader, rapid loading, steady aim, sixth sense, off-road driving, snapshot, situation awareness, mark target, run and gun. Okay, good. We got that all out of the way. Except I have no camouflage. I feel like camo on this might actually be a better idea. Hold on. Okay, we've changed commander. It is better. Um, now we have snapshot, run and gun. You could probably do off-road driving and clutch braking instead. Because you don't really need these on this tank, but it's a premium tank and I don't want to spend gold to change it. Uh, steady aim, camouflage, born leader, rapid loading, sixth sense, situation awareness, and marked target. I love those skills. They are what I put basically on every tank I don't know what to do with. Uh, they're just awesome. Uh, but let's, let's take a better look at this tank now. Uh, it has a six round autoloader. It's got two guns. Okay, two guns, each one doing 320 damage with 280 standard pen. Um, your accuracy, it says, 0.16, but I don't think it actually has an accuracy. I think it's just they just fly straight, so you don't have to really worry about that. Uh, Interclip reload is two seconds, uh, and you're firing uh, rockets. Your shell speed is 580. It's really slow. And if you shoot premium, which is just pay to win in this tank, it's uh, 605. You don't go through space armor with these. They act as like HE. Your damage DPM is 4,755. It's absolutely nuts. And, and, and you have armor. Like, really good armor. 250 lower plate. And 250 uh, superstructure area or gun area. Is really, really good. But, uh, yeah. 240 angled back like that, that's really good. And then the upper plate is 100. At angles like that. Like, you're not going through the side armor is 150 and 130. Very good side armor. 
Uh, so, so you're armored. The issue is the gun. The gun is a little bit strange. And we're, we'll get into that. Let's just play the tank and see how it does. Uh, tier 9, Tank Destroyer. It's the new monster tank that everybody wants, but nobody wants. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're going to play. Let's do it. Pilsen, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Nobody's on. What? It's just bots, bots, bots these days. I was in queue for over a minute, and then I just get bots. I don't know, dudes. I don't know. I feel like the game is dead. It like rapidly. It's dying so rapidly. Like we were we've always been talking about the game dying, but man oh man. And the last I'm crashing into this pillar, I'm plugging in my headset so I can hear my game. And oh, these rockets I don't think are guidable. Let me see. No, they're not. Well now we know. I wasn't sure if they were or not. But yeah, slow slow rockets. They don't like spaced armor. It's pretty bad. I've played this tank a couple times. The armor is insane, and then when you get to unload into somebody, it's insane. But the moment they angle, it's just over for you. Oh, they have an Avery and a Bat. Why don't we have a an Avery? Are they supposed to match Averys against each other? I guess not anymore. They're not enough players. That's not gonna work. Shooting heat already, so it's not gonna not gonna go our way. Mm -hmm. All right, well let's let's clip out some bots so we can see what this does. Dude, you suck. Zero damage. This tank is so bad. Come on! Got him! <laughs> oh gosh! That's it! That's the review! The tank sucks! Have fun! I just think these shells, they just explode on things, and I don't know what. This tank sucks! <laughs> Oh, he dodged it. He's too fast. Too speedy. Alright, T-54. Oh. I said that his very best to avoid being shot by me. Oh, gosh. The amount of effort to shoot anything in this tank. No, there's no bounds. Alright, this could be good. This might be amazing what we're about to do. Oh, he set us on fire. Well, that shit be silly. This tank sucks! Why are they going so high? <laughs> this tank! Why? <laughs> it's so bad! I don't even know! What are they trying to do? What is the point to it? I'm shooting him in the lower plate! 280 pen! The shells are just disappearing. So the question is, how do you play this... crapper? That's what it is. Like, your armor is good, but not great. It'll, like, the armor will work so well from range. 
and you're so accurate, it sounds perfect for shooting from range. But then you have to realize there's like a two meter difference between the shells where they hit, which is weird because there's only like half a meter between the guns. Um, and your shells uh, travel at 580 meters a second. So you can't snipe, because if they move at all, you miss. <laughs> it's, it's no good. And if it hit anything, anything at all, any angled armor, any bit of spaced armor, any bit of rubble or debris, the shell just cracks. It's These aren't heat shells. Heat shells can still pass through things, slightly. Um, they go through, hit something, and they'll travel five more meters, uh, because the jet stream will be activated. Jet stream, the molten jet, whatever. Uh, that's not the case with this. So you could still hit tracks and space armor and such and go through with heat. You can't with these. This is just, it's just gone. I mean, you saw what we did to nothing last game. What we did to everything. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, but let's see what we can do. We do have a little bit of camo on this as well. And that's another thing that's like, oh, maybe I want to snipe. Yeah, I do. I want to snipe. But, man, just add autoloaders. Like, that, that's, look, at the bat was the, the last tank, too. Just autoloaders that fire heat shells. That's just what they do now. So... That's it, they don't really care. Like, oh, do you want to come up with something? No, not really. Just just copy-paste. But maybe make it look ugly. Deal. Done. Let's do it. And uh, that's, that's that's what they did. That was a five up there. I don't want to look anywhere. Oh, well, at least we were able to do 900 something to the 4005, and then we got slapped by there. I don't know what the slap does, but he set us on fire. He did a lot to us. Oh, it worked. Who just shot me? I'm terrified right now. Like, I'm so dead, it hurts. It's a fellow Night Stalker. This piggy is obsessed with me. Obsessed. Gotta kill the clone guy. do it's such an awkward tank three hundred thirty pen did not go through the side of the dust chair by the way any old heat shell would have gone through that Uh, Sritzvong, that's what must have shot me for, bounced off me for 330, or 390, which is pretty lucky. Zero damage, nice. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. <laughs> I don't know. Heat would have gone through that. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's been real with you. They just keep adding more and more rockets to World War II, and I'm not happy about it. You know, eventually, they are going to add guided rockets. 
Like, they don't know how to come up with new tags. You literally have PC, which has all these tags, basically a blueprint of how to be successful. And they're just like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make World of Tanks even smaller and increase the size of our new branding, Modern Armor, because we want people to know that we have a horrible game. Dude, this tank is so bad! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You're getting one pen every... If you're lucky, 14... Every reload, you get one pen. And then you have to unload your magazine, which takes 10 seconds to do so. So it's actually every 25 seconds. So you uh, you have like 640 DPM in this tank. If anyone's keeping track. 1900 health is the only thing going for it. Zero. This doesn't even count as block damage, I don't think, either, because it's explosive. So he's just, like, blocking all this stuff and not getting any anything out of it. Oh, my gosh. But it's one guy. But hey, we got to unload in, into into uh, a separate one of us because he kept bouncing off of us. I will not do any more games. Wargaming have somehow released a tank worse than the brick pre-12 buffs. On the day of the brick's release, that tank was just terrible. On the month of its release, it was terrible. The many months until they finally buffed it. Uh, this is somehow worse. I think I would rather the brick in this matchmaking than this thing. 3,000 damage. That's last game or 2,900. That's it. That's the that's the best you're gonna see. That's the best we're gonna get. It's, 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 it's go home, right? Set on fire through the front too. That's no fun. I don't like that. I want to shoot this guy. He just dead. Zero damage. Two damage. He's like, all I have to do is turn. turn Say, ah, oh, yeah, fire to the front. And my existence, sir. Uh And me while you can. He bounced. I missed. Oh, and I'm dead. I don't care. All right, that's it. That's the best we're gonna do in this this tank, ever. Like, no, I don't. It, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. How much are they asking for it? Like a lot. Okay, let's go take a look. It's a tier 9 monster tank, so it's gonna be uh, an obscene amount of money. Run away. Flee! <laughs> this is so bad. Golly. Alright. By itself. 15,300. The voice crack. 15,000. 300 gold. It will be the last 15,000 gold you ever spend if you buy it, alright? If you want to quit spending money in this game, buy this tank. You will never buy anything ever again. Holy moly, it's bad. And uh, this isn't from three games. I've played it a few times to get the, the clips from, from the intro. After I gave it a cool intro. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wargaming. This is so bad. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. If you didn't enjoy, then you're just like me. Void of enjoyment. Because I did not enjoy at all <laughs> today's video. <laughs> it was not fun. So, yeah, that's it. Alright, no, no more. Take care. Bye, everyone. Peace. Bye.